It's almost unbelievable that Welsh boxer Cuthbert Taylor, who represented Britain in the Olympics in 1928, was banned from competing for British boxing titles because his dad was black. So he was deemed not white enough to be British. Well, now his family want an apology from the British Boxing Board and they're campaigning for this with our local MP for Merthyr Tidwell, Gerard Jones. I'm delighted that Gerald joins me in the studio and Nick joins me from the constituency. Hello, um, Nick, I'm going to start with you. Honestly, this, this, this story. Um, so, so between 1911 and 1948, the British Board of Boxing operated a colour bar which prevented non-white boxers from competing for British titles. How did you find out what happened to your granddad? Uh, it's always really been in the family history. We've always known about it. It is, yeah, it, how can I explain it? It was something my grandmother always told us about. Uh, my grandfather never spoke about it. My father never spoke about it either, but my grandmother always spoke about it and said how unjust it was. And if it had been anybody else, uh, minus the colour, then yes, you would have. It would have been, it had been sanctioned for every fight that he was entitled to fight for. But uh, as it was, he was uh, entitled to nothing, basically. As soon as he turned professional, everything sort of, it changed completely. When he was amateur, he was entitled to fight for the country. No worries whatsoever for Great Britain. Uh, Olympic Games, 1928, Amsterdam. Altian Games, 28 amps, uh, Dublin, and yet as soon as the professional come in and the Welsh Boxing Board of Control and the British Boxing Board of Control amalgamated and that's when the serious problems started then. Just describe, is it possible to describe how your family feel about this historic injustice? But we feel absolutely, uh, well, we're disgusted by it, but absolutely feel let down by a country which is supposedly so far in advance, but also so backwards in lots of things as well. And, you know, we understand it was a different, different time and the rules were different. But when you're only requesting and asking for an apology, which was basically should be fundamentally entitled to have in any way because of uh, the injustice that the family is. Mm, yeah, I'm going to turn to your local MP uh, now. Gerald, how did you come to work with, with Nick, with Cuthbert's family? Mm. Well, they, they contacted me at an advice surgery, actually, in, in the constituency and told me the story of Cuthbert Taylor. And, you know, like everybody who, who hears the story is astounded, really, on uh, how something like that has happened. Um, and, and, you know, at that time, sadly, that, that was lawful um you know it clearly wasn't right and, and should never have been the case but it was lawful um and i think as far as we are now uh you know the family are really keen and, and uh are really disappointed that the uh boxing authorities haven't engaged with them which is obviously why they contacted me and as, as Nick has said there, uh, you know, all the family are asking for really is an apology to recognise the injustice, historic as it may be, uh, but it was an injustice that hurt uh, the family and still hurts them today. And you've raised this issue in Parliament in your capacity as uh, the family's local MP. Just tell us about some of the things you've done in Parliament. Well, we've raised it, it we've had two debates actually. The, the, the last one uh, was last week. Uh, we raised it um, in as part of the uh, Black History Month yeah. uh, two years ago. Um, and we, we've done work in the constituency. We've erected a, a plaque uh, in one of the places where uh, Cuthbert Taylor trained. Um, so you know, there is a, a lot of knowledge, a growing knowledge actually now, in the constituency of the injustice. Uh, and we wanted to do that to, to recognise it at home. But I think, you know, from the family's point of view, they are really keen that this apology uh, is given um, to... to to, to, to basically recognise that, that injustice. And, uh, you know, the, the campaign uh, last week, 
the, the debate last week, uh, and, and even the, um, the, the sport minister um, has called on uh, the boxing board to recognise and to engage with the family um, and to try to, uh, to put this uh, wrong right. So you've so that you got because you're a Labour MP, but the government, when you've raised it in Parliament, they're absolutely on board with yeah. with helping the family too? Absolutely. I mean, I think the, the position is, is, isn't defensible, really. I don't think anybody can, can, can defend that. Uh, and I think, you know, what uh, the, the Boxing Board need to do is to just issue that apology um, and, and to try and, uh, you know, recognise mm. the fact that this has caused huge hurt to the family over many years. Absolutely. Nick, l let me come back to, to you. What sort of things do they say to you? you, you we know you've written to the British Boxing Board to ask for this uh, apology. H have you had any encouraging words from them? Uh, no encouraging words whatsoever. Uh, my brother received a letter from them stating uh, basically that was how it was then. Uh, tough. That, that was basically their answer. And obviously more words than that, but that was the gist of it. Those with the times, uh, mm. like it or lump it. That yeah. was basically what they told us. That's uh, astonishing. Astonishing, Nick. Yeah. Nick, uh, something positive. We hope you have you, you, you have much more positivity on this journey and in this campaign. But something positive is the plaque that has been yeah. unveiled at the courthouse in Merthyr Tydfil. What does that mean to you and the family? Uh, it means a lot. You know, what I mean? it's it does mean a lot. Like, uh, it's hard to put into words exactly what it does feel, feel it. and the pride in that we get off seeing it. It's just a shame that it took so long to actually get any recognition, apart mm -hmm. from the old timers as in Merthyr, where they always used to say, God, he was a hard man, but he was a gentleman, you know, a gentleman through and through. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, what's next for the campaign? Uh, just final question to both of you. Where next? Uh, we're just going to keep plugging and plugging and plugging until we do get some result out of them because uh, they're going to have to learn that we are tailors and we will keep fighting until the very end for it. Maybe Good for you. Do you have anything to add there? Well, I, I think Nick put it very succinctly there. I think that you know the fight will go on uh, and we will continue to campaign uh, because you know it's historic but it needs to be put right and the, the boxing authorities need to act on that. I'm so pleased that we were able to discuss uh, this today. Thank you to Nick. Thank you so much, Nick. Best, uh, best of luck and thank you to you, Gerald, too. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.